Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back once again. The 2022 summer season of anime is wrapping up, and that means we are going to talk about the shows that I watched to completion, and I'm going to let you know what I thought about them. And that's what we're here to do today with my stepmom's daughter is my ex. This was the uh, one of, if not the romance anime this season. And uh, it involves these two characters here. And we will be talking about this now. So, moving on to my overall opinion. <clears throat> the ride was okay, but the destination was not worth it at all. Um, and what I mean by that is, it was fun to watch, but the way that it ended, awful. The characters were very forgettable. And even now, I just watched the 12th episode. Um not even an hour ago. And I cannot remember anyone's name except for the girl who is named Ai Ai. And that's because everyone says her name like all the time. And uh, that's not even her name now that she became step-siblings. Ai Ai was her family name before her mother got married. Now it's like something else entirely, but I don't remember. Anyway, it was not very iconic at all. And like I said, I've already forgotten most of it, including the character names. I, I remember they went to the beach at one point, I think. Was it a beach? Did they go to a beach? They might not have, actually. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Yeah, I remember them being in school a lot. And then being at home in, like, their rooms. And then being in the living room. And that's about it, yeah. Also, there are similar titles, uh, not similar titles, like similar uh, shows out there where uh, a couple's in a relationship, then their parents get married, and then their step-siblings, like Domestic Girlfriend that I listed right here, for example. In fact, Domestic Girlfriend might be a little bit more entertaining than this one. I've not watched it. I did give the first episode a shot, and I was like, man, this has too much drama for me. I come out and passed on it, but... uh. And the Mr. Girlfriend, unlike this one, where they only dated and then, like, had a single kiss. The Mr. Girlfriend, they straight up have a one-night stand, find out the very next day that they're step-siblings. And it's like, oh, I'm crazy. That's about all I got for that. But that's my overall opinion. Let's move on to some nitty-gritty stuff. Things that I enjoyed. Um, I liked it when the, the two main characters would squabble and like, talk and um, interact. It was entertaining. And uh, I thought it was kind of neat. That's, I guess, why I continued watching it. Um, the other media that gets shown in the show, uh, for example, the, the main character guy, he likes to read light novels and manga and stuff, and so he uh, will frequently be seen oh, with a book open, and you'll see the title. One that I remember seeing was How to Raise a Boring Girlfriend. And that one was there. Uh, so... There was a variety of others as well that were included. So if you're looking for a little, like, uh, Easter eggs to other anime and stuff, this is a neat one to check out. If you're looking for some other anime, watch this one. <laughs> You'll be able to get uh, recommendations by reading what he's reading, reading the cover of what he's reading. And then I can't think of much else. Um, honestly, like I said, I've already forgotten, like, almost everything that's happened in the show. There was basically nothing going on of substance that stood out in the pack, which leads us to things I disliked. First of all, there's basically no development. Um, the whole first season, and I say first season, but it's not like there's a second season yet, if at all. Um, it felt like they were setting up the whole season for a season two. And I say that because the start and the ending was the same, exactly the same. Episode one, they find other step-siblings, and they're like, hmm, well, I kind of sort of still have feelings for you, but we're going to have to act like step-siblings. And the ending was, huh, well, I know that I have, you know, some feelings for you, but we still have to act like step-siblings, and we may or may not possibly ever decide to move past being step-siblings and actually start a relationship. You know, like, nothing productive happens at all. Um... And as with most things, with most romance anime or drama anime, um, 
a lot of things could have been solved by simple communication. Uh, because the way that they uh, broke up was just because they couldn't communicate properly together. Because they actually just stopped like texting each other for two months, and they were like, "Then they were like, hey, let's break up." And uh, it was stupid. Uh, and the characters, like I said previously, they're bland, they're forgettable. The main characters, like basically all expressionless and like barely reacts to anything. Sometimes he'll like blush or his eyes will get a little wide or whatever. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm not hating on emotionless characters because they can be done really well, like uh, Kanade Tachibana from Angel Beats, for example. One of my favorite emotionless characters. I actually have a couple figurines of her, to be honest. Um, but in this one, it's just like, whatever, man. Uh, I can't remember any of their names other than I.I., like I said. And it's literally only been an hour. Uh, I think maybe the main guy's name is like Irito, or that maybe his last name or something. I don't know. But like, whatever. There was also like three other supporting characters, excluding their family, who made an appearance. And they were generic. They had like a playboy guy, a bubbly personality girl, and kind of a nerdy, shy girl with big tits. That was the other characters. Um, yeah, I, I, the whole thing was just a huge waste of time. If I could go back now and tell myself at the beginning of the season to not watch this one or to drop it after like an episode, I'd be like, hey, ask me. Don't watch this. Don't waste your time. It's not worth it. You could uh, do other things in this 30 minutes so that it takes you to watch this. Show. Anyway, moving on to would I recommend it? And could it have a second season? And do I want it to have a second season? Would I recommend it? First of all, no. Uh, it was pretty generic, like I said, and it has no real payoff at the end. As I stated, it basically starts and ends exactly the same, with them being like, oh, we'll be step siblings, I guess. We kind of like each other. Maybe we'll get more winky face. You know? As for a second season, as I mentioned, they definitely set up for one so they could easily do another season. But would I want it to have one? Absolutely not. There's so many other better anime out there that deserve a second season that uh, have been robbed of second seasons. And uh, I feel like I'm not staying. Just this generic romance story that didn't make me choke up at all, wasn't even that good of a comedy, and like just had characters that I really forget about. I would never even consider ordering a figurine of them or any merchandise relating to this series. Definitely should not have a second season. Throwing that out there. Didn't identify with any of the characters or anything like that. I was just like, wow, this is just a thing I'm watching to pass the time, huh? That's the long and short of it, everyone. That is what I thought about this series. Um, what do you all think? Did you watch it? Did you enjoy it? Um, yeah. What are some things you liked and didn't like? All that good jazz. But for me, I did not like it. No. And it, it, it was just barely enough to keep me like, well, maybe something will happen at the end. Like, if they hooked up together at the end, and they were like, well, let's start dating and tell our parents, or like at least let's bring up to our parents that we used to date, or anything like that that would have added a little extra layer of substance to the story, I would have been like, okay, this was decent, you can watch it. I was like, no, don't even recommend this now, because like nothing happens. The whole story is just a nothing burger. You have the, the, the buns, you know, you have the top and the bottom bun of the burger, and then there's nothing between it, because it's just generic garbage between everything yeah that's my thoughts anyone anyway that's all for today everyone uh, as i said the this week and next week everything's wrapping up it's gonna be good we're gonna start reviewing them coming out and actually the first episode for the next season actually comes out in a couple of days i think uh or one of the anime anyway the, the other ones i think we still have like a week or two, even like three. I think we're like still 20 days away from one of them starting to come out, so whatever. But for now, that's all. Until next time, bye for now.